Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We are on ASU campus. We have Vishrut with us, who is very kind to show us around and show the campus. So your fees is like basically $20,000 or so? No, it's zero. Zero dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Vishrut, why don't you give a quick intro? Hey everyone, I'm Vishrut. I'm a computer science major at Arizona State University. I'm doing a master's and I will be graduating in May of 2023. All right, so we just crossed that bridge which we were talking about right before it. And this is the beautiful palm walk. What's the famous part about this palm walk? Well, as you can see, this line by the palm trees and this makes it the most picturesque spot on the campus. So what is this building? So this is the WP Carey School of Business. As the name suggests, you'll find, you'll find MBA and business analytics courses. This, mm -hmm. Those classes mostly are held over here. Um, the iconic part about this building, as you can see, is that ceiling right here. And the architecture in general is supposed to be one of the most picturesque buildings on campus. Basically, MBA classes, business analytics, MIS yes. happens over here. Yeah, mostly here. So this is the center of the ASU Tempe campus. Mm. Right behind me, this is the Hayden Library, the oldest library in Arizona State. Okay. The state of Arizona. I mean. State of Arizona, Arizona, not the Arizona Absolutely. State University. Yes. Okay. So I see the buildings behind us. Mm -hmm. Are these apartments, this is where the student lives or there are other places where the students live? There are a lot of places where students live. A mile away from here, the rent goes up to like 500 per person. So almost less than half of what you pay here. Wow, okay. Like, it's not dorms, it's still apartments. Yeah, they are private apartments. They are private apartments. 1500 to 2000 per person for a private room. As this is closest to the campus, this is the most convenient one. But if you want to save <laughs> money, most students live like outside campus, yes. a little like a mile away. Uh, it's a walking distance? About so, but there are like free buses that can take you there. Free buses and, and that the rent is yes. 500 or so. Okay, cool. Where are we? So this is the Latif Kur Hall at Arizona State University. And probably this is the place where you get most of the CS classes. Computer science Computer class. science classes. Okay. On top here are a lot of um, offices for professors. And this block right here, the straight glass panels that you see, that is a huge computer lab, continuous computer lab. Oh, okay. So did uh, you have your classes? Uh, how many? Most of your classes? Yes. So out of my 10 courses, three courses were right here in the same classroom. Yeah. Right over here. Nice. Yeah. If you like look closely, this area is mostly labs, but this area over here is all classrooms. What is this building? Where are we right now? So this building right here, including this block over here, is called the Brickyard Engineering. Okay. Um, officially, when ASU started, this was supposed to be the only place where engineering classes happen. Mm. But as the courses increased, nowadays the engineering like, classes happen all over the campus. Yeah. And mostly undergraduate level one classes, the um, freshman classes only mostly happen over here. Did you do your classes here in one of these buildings? I had one class over here, one semester, but mostly I came here when I was a teaching assistant. Oh. So right there, if you can see the stairwell, yeah. uh, the class adjacent to it, that was where I used to um, teach. Uh, I, I, I literally took classes on Python and MATLAB for freshman students. Nice. And I also see like Bank of America. So it feels like this is like all included. It's like the campus is part of the city and it is like a city. Absolutely. So where are we? You said this is the most happening. happening. Where are Absolutely. we? Absolutely. So this right outside the Brickyard Engineering, this is the Mill Avenue. Okay. So right over there, you find an AMC theater. Over there, a few nightclubs right there. And a few nightclubs over here. A few good restaurants over here. And all the, if you're a cool student on campus, this is where you are, not in the classes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, it's like the campus is merged into the city. And the city yes. is kind of become a campus because Obviously, you have a theater, you have a nightclubs and all of it. You can call Tempe like a mini okay. college town. Okay. So a lot yeah. of things over here are like student centric even. 
Right. If you go to any place, you can ask for a student discount, they will give you one. What are some of the tips would you give for students who are planning to come to ASU to get on-campus job? Firstly, uh, never be shy of emailing, cold emails. Secondly, um, always reach out to different students who are already working and ask them if there are any openings or not. So that's one way my a lot of my friends got jobs. Thirdly, always look the, look at the portal if you have any new openings right. coming up or not. And like I would add to the third point is that you didn't necessarily choose just the cafeteria jobs, which is what like most people try to go for. Uh, but like you ended up deciding the software engineering job. So how's the on-campus job market like? Does pretty much everyone get a job? And how easy it is to get a job? So as I said, um, after 2020, during COVID years, there has been a lot of over-enrollment in ASU, mm. especially international students. Okay. A lot of international students have come up and mostly international students are the ones who seek on-campus jobs. So compared to 2020, um, nowadays, it is relatively a little difficult to get on-campus job as okay. it was before compared to what it was before. So what happens is that as, you, as you've already seen in campus, there is a variety of places where you can get a job. You can get a job at in the administrative building. You can get as a receptionist. You can get jobs in the bookstore. You can get a job as a, in the cafeteria. And you can also get jobs as a software developer or anything which is particular to your own major. Right. Or as TAs and RAs and GSAs. Yeah. So, well, there is no dearth of jobs. Yeah. But over enrollment has probably made it a bit difficult. The friction okay. has increased. So for your batch, did everyone kind of had a job? Initially, they almost did. Yeah. I mean, almost all my friends whom I knew, they had a job. Okay. Although, um, as I said, as time progressed, uh, a few of them did not. And a few of them chose to not have because after internships, you know, we have a bit of uh, <laughs> disposable <is> income. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> okay. So... A lot of people didn't seek for a job, but had this thought, I don't think they would have got the jobs as easily as they did in 2021 when mm. I came. Okay. So, Vishwut is going to take us to secret spot of the Arizona State University. Don't tell anybody that he told us, but you know who told us. So, a lot of students at ASU don't know that there is a garden right behind this building. They okay. all, if they see this from the outside, they think it's just a contiguous block of like classes, but actually there's a garden. Ah. And there's no direct way to enter that garden except through the shady pathway that I'm going to show you guys right oh, now. Okay, cool. So, let's go. We are going to some secret spots. We'll be right back. I promise. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And it opens up to this. Here we are, the secret garden. Not so secret because people have found out. So, anyway. There was an Instagram reel recently, so people found out. But okay. it's still, I mean, I guess at least 5 to 6% people know it. It's just like a spot, I think, like... Not a lot of people know, so they want to come. It looks like there's a lot of photo shoot going on. So, anyway, cool. people are graduating. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, what is this? So, is, this feels like an entrance of the campus, one of the entrances. Absolutely. So, as you can see, this column right here is what welcomes you to the ASU campus. And right behind this campus, you'll find the ASU charter for what ASU campus stands for and what it was built for. Okay. Um, this is a popular spot for people who are graduating. You must they probably come see. here and take photos. Yes, as you are leaving the campus, you might want to take a picture with how you entered the campus. Ah, okay. That's the and idea. then what is this building? And this right here is uh, the Fulton Center. Yeah. Below there, the, the first floor is the Luminosity Lab. Um, really cool stuff is built over there, the Luminosity Lab. And the Luminosity Lab is very famous for its collaboration with companies like Starbucks, Zoom. Mm. And also, a lot of in cool engineering projects at ASU have happened at the Luminosity Lab, including the surveillance drone that was employed at, during the Super Bowl in Phoenix. Where are we now? So right now, we are in front of the iconic ASU bridge. Is it called the ASU bridge? I don't know, but most people refer to it as that. So I'm going to call it that. Okay. And behind you right there, this is the Tuka house. And these are specifically dorms for engineering students during the freshman year. Okay. So it's mandatory. If you're an engineering undergraduate student in your freshman year, you have to stay over here. I want to talk about internship. Did you have any internship? I had one internship during the fall semester. Oh, I did no. not have any summer internship and neither after that. Wait, so you can do even fall internship? That ASU allows you to do that. Oh, that's cool. A fall co-op. Yeah. If you may, yes. Okay. And so basically, you first summer, you didn't get it and then mm. you skipped the semester and you did internship. Uh, a co-op means I did my internship as well as did my classes. Oh. So I interned for MathWorks and 
um, the companies in Massachusetts, Natick, Massachusetts, and I was working remotely 40 hours a week. And at the same time, I had my classes going on. Nice. How was that? How did that go? Because 40 uh, hours plus, how many classes did you take that? It was a full semester. So, so I, nine. Had, I had nine credit right. hours. Okay. And so would you say that ASU students usually get internships? Uh, it's, a, it's a general statement. I cannot uh, guarantee that coming to ASU will get you an internship because no college, I guess, in this world can guarantee you that. Right. Um, when I came, again, as I said, uh, the market was very, very different. Um, a lot of people were over hiring. If you right. Know. Yeah. Because so, you came in that 2021. Precisely. Where the hiring was like at on the a peak. peak. Exactly. Yeah. And right now, because of that, the hiring right now is very poor. And uh, I've heard a lot of people who are struggling with even the summer internships, which uh, in my, when I had come here, it was relatively easy. So what's the total cost to, to study here? So for nine credit hours, my tuition fee comes up to around fifteen thousand okay. dollars, give or take. Um, insurance for two, around two fifty, and about fifteen hundred dollars for miscellaneous that includes the gym and other services. Mm. And adding that up, uh, I guess I'm missing a few, but that comes up to around uh, twenty five thousand dollars. That is per semester. Per semester. That's around that and uh, so for three is this two years or three years master uh, mine is a two year two course. year master yes. so per semester twenty five thousand dollars and if it's two two year master that's four semester a hundred almost thousand, hundred thousand dollars and that hundred thousand includes uh living expenses correct that's okay correct. got it yeah wow that is like 80 lakhs rupees uh did you take loan yes i took a loan from prodigy finance nice okay so how was the process with Prodigy Finance? Well, like, how did you take like hundred thousand dollar loan? No, uh, the thing with Prodigy Finance is that they offer you loan on a year to year basis. Okay. And I had only taken loan for the first year because okay. the next year I had an internship and that money helped me go through that. And I had taken an I was sanctioned a loan for forty five thousand hmm. dollars. So that was for first two semester. That's correct. Okay. And that includes my living expenses. And as I was a TA. Um, I had a tu I received a tuition waiver for the mm. first year, and ASU has returned that tuition fees. That is eighteen thousand dollars back to Prodigy already. Okay, so that's the remaining part is what you have to pay back as that's your loan. What I do. And you never took the second year because you got internship, and wow! So you made enough money from internship <laughs> to pay off. Fifty thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not just the internship, but um, as as was a TA, I also got a salary of uh, thirty dollars an hour, and that oh, covered my wow. tuition. Thirty dollars, like twenty four hundred dollars per month, and that wow. and my on campus job helps me pay off my living expenses. Would you say that you now just have like roughly twenty to twenty five thousand dollars to pay off? Around that plus interest. That is so cool that you just have twenty twenty five thousand and also very scary. I didn't know that it was hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> but like for someone like me who comes from like lower middle class family, I feel like Prodigy Finance is great because they don't require I think uh, collateral, cosigner, and all that stuff. Correct. So and they judge you based on your credentials versus. Uh, you know, uh, your My properties, your assets and all of that, That's correct. especially for me. So I have partnered with them for like last five years and mm -hmm. I highly recommend that if you are looking for a loan, first link in the description, would you also recommend people to check out Prodigy Finance? Absolutely. Um, I too come from a middle income family in India and my goal was to uh, complete my master's using the money that I earned in right. India. Yeah. And I wanted no burden on my parents and Prodigy Finance enables me to mm. get that. That's awesome, man. I, we definitely have to talk about like how you got TA and your internship and all of So I know you had mentioned in the earlier part of the video that uh, you got the internship and you paid off the second half of your master, which is like two semester. What kind of salary range do people usually get for software engineer? I mean, I don't know about the range. Um, I got around um, 7,000 a month. Wow. That is yeah. um, after, after deducting that. That means uh, you had 7,000 obviously for that semester. You had one year. Uh, how long your internship? It was a three month internship. So $35,000. That is what I collected from there. Gotcha. Yeah. And then obviously you still had your on campus job after internship. And that's correct. So that's how you were able to manage paying off the second half. Right. That's so cool. 
That is very inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see the mountain behind me and I've heard like it's very popular. What is it about? So this is popularly called the A Mountain or officially called the Hayden Butte. Okay. Um, it's a tradition that before Thanksgiving, every time you know, the students go hike up there and paint that A yellow. Oh. And this is a symbol of um, ASU. It has always been because it's always been on campus. And wherever you find ASU branding, you'll find a silhouette of this A mountain oh, every day. Oh, gotcha. And it's a pretty good hiking place. I Have mean, you hiked before? A lot of times at night, you know, it's always open. So at night, two o'clock, when the whole city is hot, up there it's really cold. Ah. So it's a good place to visit and you can see the whole of Tempe from there. Nice, very nice. Where exactly are we now? So right now we are in front of the Sun Devil Fitness Center. This is the gym and the sports center. As you can see behind me, there's a soccer field. And right inside you'll find all kinds of gym equipments to hit every core area of your body as well as a swimming pool, mm. a normal recreational pool as well as an Olympic sized. Mm. And it's Olympic size because, um, a fun fact, um, one of the swimming coaches at one point of time was the great Michael Phelps. Mm, that's awesome. And you were mentioning there is people playing cricket? Uh, yes, uh, the Indian students over here have started um, Arizona Cricket League, Arizona Premier League. I'm not sure what's the name, but that's uh, so cool. a few teams over here. I guess there are three teams on campus and they practice over here regularly. That's awesome. So international students on day one will go to firstly Memorial Union to get their ID cards issued mm. and then to this building to get their financial aid sorted. And and the international building where I-20 and everything is right there. This yeah. is the International Students and Scholars Center, ISSC building. Uh, one important thing, um, I guess, for uh, important for international students is uh, when they come on campus, they should try to get an on-campus job because that gives them a social security number. Yeah. And I believe uh, this one thing is very important that I guess if I had if I had known better, that would be a really good thing that a social security number is very important in America. Uh, <laughs> as every, as uh, your previous videos have definitely told, um, having an age, a really old social security gives you more benefits. So, right. uh, Which is there's a history building. Absolutely. And, so uh, international students, if I would have to give one advice, that would be to you know get a job as soon as you can mm, on campus. Okay. We are inside the Memorial Union. Here's where people come to eat and relax. Nice. And you'll find all fast food joints and a store where you want to buy anything, you can get that, everything on campus. It's just like a convenience store. Nice. Memorial. We just got out from Memorial Union, so yeah. we had some amazing food inside. Yeah. You find all the fast food joints. I didn't take juice. any footage of that. Because <laughs> we were very hungry, yeah. And this over here, this is the area where most of the students hang out. Okay. During the free time in between classes. Usually the weather is pleasant over here, not today. And will not be after like for a few days. Right. But it's a really good place to hang out because right next to it is the Hayden Library. where. Mm. Like directly, if you want to get references, you can get stuff. And this is open 24 seven. So it's a good resource for students to have on campus. Got it. We are right outside the library and we met him. What's your name? Ajay. Ajay. Yeah. And how long have you been in ASU? Let, let's do a quick intro. Yeah, uh, so I have been, it's my second semester in ASU. So it's been like seven or eight months and it's been great. And uh, yeah, your videos helped me a lot. <laughs> I have to say this. Yeah. And I secured a lot of good positions. Uh, when you before, say a lot of good position, what do you mean? I mean, I got a research assistance here, uh, so that's very good. And your How videos did you get it? Yeah, your videos helped me a lot. Uh, from right from the start, uh, initially I did not have a plan to come to masters, but after seeing your videos and getting a lot of exposure, I got to feel like okay, I, I should give it a try. And then uh, uh, I got into I, I got an admit, and after that I made a lot of professors. Uh, have done a lot of research and uh, I like a lot of a lot of your videos which explains like in, in every detail how to apply for the visa and get all the stuff and what happens if we don't get some stuff something like say what happens if we don't get a job after two years so because these all questions uh, were uh, somewhat haunted me mm, for a bit yeah, and yeah, then yeah. after getting a lot of exposure and all the things like say you interviewed with lawyer once and he explained what is the process and a lot of videos, right? I, <laughs> I awesome. have seen every video of yours. Yeah. Uh, if not every, like most of the videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah, like all of the process went so that's, smooth and I'm really blessed. Yeah, oh, thank you, man. Thank you. You're <laughs> so kind. You. <laughs> would you recommend people, people who are watching this uh -huh. video, would you recommend ASU? 
yeah i would i would strongly recommend you to come to asu uh, it's Why? really uh, top college and you can get i mean uh, more than that the cohort is really good first of all uh, you can uh, interact with lot of uh, people and you can get good contacts and also the professors are really encouraging you and they are uh, they'll push you to somewhat to your limits because uh, <laughs> i'm getting full scholarship so <laughs> oh how did you get the full scholarship uh, research assistance has full scholarship so oh, okay. uh, in the first semester i don't have it but from then on i got it so so really so your nice. fees is like basically $20000 or so Uh, it's zero. Zero dollars. <laughs> What? That's I mean, not not exactly zero. I just need to pay a uh, little fees, like say thousand dollars or something oh, per semester. So. Gotcha. That's awesome. So you email professors, cold email them. Yeah. Some of them got back to uh, you, and yeah, then they yeah. interviewed you. Yeah, exactly. That's okay. what happened. Uh, and then you got the research assistant. Yes. What do you do as a research assistant? You help professors. Yeah. So my work is. uh okay i'll i'll just disclose some bit only because it's a uh, kind of uh, okay. yeah so um, it's re- related to parkinson's disease i have to work on uh, lab rats uh, there is some research going on oh, there wow. like uh, parkinson's disease in rats nice. so i need to do some deep learning modeling yeah, oh cool. that's cool so you basically help professors yes. with their research yes. and because of that they waived off your entire tuition fees yes and you like now you'll be done with the masters with 0 dollars <laughs> and you'll probably make more money because you'll <laughs> yeah. have internships and all of that yeah, yeah. that's awesome man i guess you people should come to us <laughs> <laughs> yeah i strongly recommend it <laughs> all right that was it uh, i hope you enjoyed this campus tour and if you have any further questions uh, feel free to reach out in the comments or i'll also leave his uh, things in the description thank you so much for showing us around so i hope you like the video